Hello there everyone, uh, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to the giant stompy stompy robot simulator, as I always insist on calling it. I welcome, of course, to MechWarrior Online. Yes, indeed. The weekend is upon us, it is time to take out giant robots for walkies and, most likely, violent death. But, you know, that is just how this game tends to go. So, yes. For today's walk, I am taking a Black Knight, as you can see. Once again, it's a hero version, of course, because it's like... I did say that's my general plan at the moment. Or, if you want the exact one, this is the BL6KNT. Or KNTR, if you want to be exact, but it's the uh, 6KNT chassis. So, as you can see, it's got many lasers, just like a normal Black Knight, but it's also got the two stumpy things on top. So yes, this thing has anti-missile systems. Let's go into the mech lab, shall we? Alright. Not too bad looking, is it? Except for the fact that these massive green blobs up here, and a very bad heat score. <laughs> let's, let's, um, yeah, let's get into this. Right. It is an endo-seal chassis, standard armor plating, and double heat sinks for its upgrades. It is powered by a 320 rated standard engine which gives it a top speed of 69.1 and it's got an additional additional nine double heat sinks uh, yeah nine extra double heat sinks but even that combined with the engines 10 gives it a cooling rating of one out of two exactly 50 percent which means if everything is running on this mech it can't lose any heat at all this is a Black Knight that loves to run hot. Very, very hot. But that's because of its um, split systems. So, yes. If you use everything on this at once, it's going to melt down remarkably fast. But anyway, let us get into this. Uh, the primary arsenal is a Hextet arrangement of medium pulse lasers. That's six, three on each side. Because that is the uh, maximum amount before you start generating ghost heat by firing them all together. So that is the rationale behind that. Six med pulse lasers spread across the waistline of the mech itself. And then supplementing these for long range engagement purposes, we have an ER large laser mounted in the right arm because it's easy to splash things if you can make use of the arm um, actuators to swing such a violent energy weapon around like you just don't care. Laser pointers for everyone. Yes, indeed. Then finally we have um, something that has been appearing a lot more in my designs of late, quite honestly. We have laser AMS systems. Two of the darn things. And that's part of the reason why the heat management is so messed up. Because I just like the laser AMS. It's something I've come to appreciate far more um, in the, like, the last month since I started to poke around and Razul wanted it on his builds. So again, this is something that is Razul's fault. As um, I seem to be saying that somewhat regularly at the moment. This is Razul's fault, but um, his designs have given me an appreciation of the laser AMS system, which I didn't have before. In fact, so often I did not take AMS systems at all. So I just use laser AMS because it's um, it uses heat rather than ammunition. And ammunition based on AMSs can run out surprisingly quickly sometimes, especially if you've got two of the darn things. So yeah, we have to pay for this with heat instead. But that's because of what this thing is meant to be. Of course, since I'm gearing this up against a hero mech, it's meant to be like, get in there, mix it up, and support your other units with close range brawling, hence the medium pulse lasers. Though longer ranges has got the sniping option of the ER large. That's kind of like what the thing's meant to be. It's meant to be picking where it uses its various systems. Because, as you can see from the heat rating, if you use everything, well, let's just say it turns into molten slag. So, yeah. With all that said, and the mech lab explained, Black Knights do make for relatively simple loadouts, heat problems, and energy weaponry only. So... <laughs> Yeah, in that in those respects, this is a typical Black Knight. But yes, let us roll on to match number one. Here we go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. 
all systems nominal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Mining Collective. The game mode is Skirmish. Now let's go ahead and do the obligatory test firing of my weaponry. Pulse, 35% heat. That's pretty bad. Well, we've got six of the darn things. The ER large can fire by itself for the most part, so it's okay. Ooh, we've got um, incoming other units. Oh, I'm already in the assault lands. Oh, that means I'm one of the heavier machines in here. Oh dear. Well, I'm, I kind of want to... I guess I'm going to buddy up with the Annihilator, who is... Um, the uh, tallest mech in the game and I would like to point out that my cockpit is almost at the level where his is the Black Knight is as always a remarkably tall machine which is actually a real hassle considering it's um, the fact that it's, the weaponry is all around its waist Target acquired. so yeah just splashing at that thing, just trying to j hold it off a little incoming bit. Missile. Oh, incoming. Someone decided I'm an important target. But that's why I've got AMS systems. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, the Annihilus is getting poked at. Mm, can't see anything. Okay. Now, of course, I'll point out that um, unlike many of my designs, this one is very lacking in terms of its uh, long range potential. Long range is very much limited at this point. Because, I, because, of course, I've got to get into range of my pulse lasers, ideally. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff up there. Also got hit in the back as well, I think. But, that said, with the Annihilator with his, um, la with his, um, physical anti-missile system, Backed up by my energy-based ones, it's um, we've got three AMS systems in very tight constraint right here. Oops, I accidentally hit his arm. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot if I stick too close. Hello. Yeah, if you're going to keep poking like that, we're just going to keep lobbing shots at you, basically. Wait, is there someone behind us? Oh, there is. Whoopsie. Right, who is it? Who are you? Can't really point downwards too well. Not really seeing him. New target. Oh, th there are some enemy stealth units wandering around the place. Though that said, this Annihilator has been quite passive, so I'm going to wander up closer. Where I can I've not actually even had a chance to use my... my brawling weaponry yet, so I do need to get closer. Though that said, the Valentine's Day event is going on, target so destroyed. there is that New as well. Oh, it's acquired. Locust. Hello, Mr. Locust. Do you want to play? No, he's running the hell away. I think he's been damaged already. Uh, but yeah, the Valentine's events, as of the time of recording, are actually in play. Oops. Didn't mean to bring up my Steam overlay. That was an accident. Ow. Oh, that, that poor madcap. Let's unlatch my... Um... Sorry, let's relatch my arms again, rather. Oh, there's a whole load of them over there, actually. But yeah, notice I am overheating pretty quick. So I do need to watch that. <laughs> Especially since there's a lot of missiles flying, so my laser AMSs keep triggering. Now, luckily though, the Black Knight is actually, despite being a big target, Black Knight is really tough. I can take a lot of damage. Though also because the um, Valentine event is going on, it's um, the daily goal is to get assists. And in that regard, I ca I'm actually quite capable as well because I'm, I'm splashing with the uh, sniping laser and then I can just shred the arm up with the pulse. But that said, without... Um, I don't really have any massively hard-hitting weapons by myself. So, you know. This poor Locust, though. Haha, <laughs> dead. Right. So yeah, I wasn't really relying on my med pulses that much. I wasn't getting into range for them. 
quite honestly. That's the big problem. The med pulses just have very limited range. Though I was reaching out with the ER large, so that was working quite nicely, actually. Still, 7 assists, 149 damage. I did glance my Annihilator buddy a little bit with my ER large, though not that much. Still, that, that worked pretty well, all told. Ooh, that's um, only one Lance information, though. So, yeah. Anyway, roll on match number two. Well, here we go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Fleet command coming in. Capture the target area and engage any hostiles. Okay, here we go, match number two. We are once again in Caustic Valley. The game mode is Skirmish. What do I mean once again in Caustic Valley? We weren't in Caustic Valley last time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got I got my sections mixed up today just a little bit. Anyway, um, a curious thing of note, by the way. Well, someone's lively. Um, a curious thing of note is assault mechs and heavier mm. equipment seems to be a bit thin on the ground right now. I think it's because of Valentine's Day, mean, mean people want to get assists more. So, you, normally the big heavy mechs with lots of like outright boom and bang are, not, are kind of absent for the most part. There are some, but people seem to be focusing on faster, lighter chassis, like light, lower end heavies. Like we've got multiple catapults in here actually. Um, in fact, in this particular match, I think there's only one assault Target mech, a, a Mad Cat 2. I think that's the only assault mech, is one assault mech per team, which is very Target unusual. Acquired. I think it's just, yeah, I think it's the event to blame for the most part. Okay, here we go. Anyway, this is match number two, so this is where I would be um, rating the build a little bit. And honestly, I do like it. It's... It's definitely got durability, it's got speed, it can reach out to touch people in um, naughty places with its um, heavy I laser. But, well, not heavy laser, large laser. Heavy laser is a clan tech, can't get those two confused. Oh jeez, night vision? No. There we go. Ah, that's a crab! No, sorry, a king crab. <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> I think the main problem I have with this mech right now, and its current arrangement, is it's not suited to my playstyle. It's like, um, you saw in the last match, I barely touched my pulse lasers because it's like, I just wasn't wandering into range. Oh, hello. I see you over there. So, this thing in a med pulse configuration is more like a front line support mech. I'm supposed to be in the thick of things. Like, if there's a massive fight, a big brawl going on, I'll be more use. But hanging back like I prefer to, because I don't like to getting shot. Oddly, I know, but that's the thing. I don't really like getting shot too much. Um, it means most of my weaponry isn't actually in reach. Let's turn off night enhancement mode. Actually, I'm going to turn on heat tracking now. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. They're saying push, and everyone's wandering across the front. Okay. Um, I guess. Oh, the King Crab's found me again. And is punishing me very ha heavily with a lot of rapid-fire cannons. Mm. So yeah, this I think this mech is... Oh, jeez. Would you stop that, Mike? I'm using that armor, darn it. Okay, I'm getting clear, at least, but my armor's been shredded. And yeah, look, we've got, like, fire-supporting PPC catapults and things like that wandering around. I think that's at least two of those, actually. Maybe more. But yeah, it's like... Um, the, the very meta of the game has shifted slightly because people are being incentivized to do other things. That is an Irby. And I overloaded. Of course, it's not very friendly to hot mechs. Because it's one of the hot maps. Um, as you can see, I, I'm really struggling to cool down. Target spotted. New target acquired. Dear. I don't want to engage that. Ow! Yep, I thought, I thought so. I knew he'd be interested in me. I cannot withstand that. My my armor is shredded at this point. Affirmative. New target acquired. 
required. Just as long as that Irby doesn't realize. Oh, he's lost his machine guns. Hmm. Okay. Well, his rear armor is open, so that's good. <laughs> anyway, thoughts on the build? It runs too hot, it's too short range for what I like. Oh, got to back up, that King Crab will have definitely spotted me, I'm quite sure. But I think I'd be happier if I swapped the pulse lasers for med lasers. I'd, I'd definitely be using them a lot more. But then the question is, what am I going to do with the extra six tons of weight? Because it's like, what can I do with the extra six tons of weight? At this stage, this knight is very, very picky in terms of what can or can't go into it. So it's like, what can I do with this thing? I'm definitely not quite content with how it is because it, it's um, a frontline brawler type. But that's not my playstyle. The point of doing this is that I want these hero mechs to be geared out in, in ways to suit me. And this, and sadly, pulse lasers just doesn't fit into my playstyle very well. Mm, that king crab is... Oh, that king crab's full of UAC 2s. And I can barely reach him from this angle. Ooh, I need to move. Target spotted. Yeah, as you can see, I'm using the uh, pulses a bit more now. But yeah, I'm, I'm hanging back because I'm damaged. And I wish I had more effective weaponry at this range, but I just don't. Okay, good. King Crab's down. Good. King Crab was one of those ones which is very threatening to me. Okay, he's open. I talk, I melted his rear armor and then the machine gun. Um, I think that's a mislinks finished him off. So that leaves one person left. I'll follow this night guy and see if they have any idea where things are. It's counting down though, so the enemy's not within the circle. So yeah, my I guess my verdict on this particular loader is um, it's got some good points, Target but there's oh, did they have a DC? No, he's moving around. Uh, we got to capture this. Oh. So yeah, it's, this build is definitely okay, but I think now that I know I prefer like a fire support role with mid to longish ranges, I know why I was so dissatisfied with my attempts to make. Pulse Black Knights in the past. It's like, um, I know that this is not quite my optimum build, or my optimum strategy. Not for me. This build will probably be useful for people who like that kind of engagement range, and it's definitely potent if you keep the heat under control, but this build is not quite for me. That much I am absolutely sure of. But still, this has been Iron Mark III. Thank you all very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll catch you all some other time. Yes, indeed. See you all later.